breaking the wall of unsustainable building technologies. Jawad Isoup, Falling Walls Lab, Ankara. Today, humanity faces great challenges when we regard our building technologies. The two questions we have to ask ourselves are how we build and what we build with. Let's walk through it together. Concrete is the most widely used construction material in the world. And it turns out that it's also the third biggest CO2 emitter. And by the way, we're talking about 3.2 billion tons of emissions per year, and that's massive. The damage does not stop here if we look at the whole infrastructural organization around it, namely the water and electricity used for its production or the diesel used for its transportation. Now let's look at how we build. Let's imagine we're building a house together. You're the client and I'm the architect. So first, we get a plot of land, then we get the building permissions, contact the architects who then proceed to design the building, and then it gets erected. Doesn't really sound unsustainable, right? But actually, within our current capitalistic models, the way we build and the spaces we inhabit are not very socially sustainable in a way that our lives are dynamic, but our buildings are very, very static. Solving these sustainable problems is this modular system. So replacing concrete, we have worked on an aggregate using mud, which is also known as a zero kilometer material. As we need to build a house, we dig in, we take the mud, put it in some walls, add some aggregates, and it sets down. That becomes our cladding. Solving our more sustainability of democracy or uh, flexibility problem is this modular system. So one module is uh, made with two frames that is cut from CNC plywood and assembled on site. So one module can be, uh, can be made in 72 hours and the whole house can be made within two days. What makes the house more flexible is that the modules can be added in longitudinal ways or uh, on the other axis. So imagine uh, you're, you get married or you get children, and now you need more spaces in your house. Suddenly, with the system, you can expand your house, have more spaces, or you get divorced, shrink your house. Now, your house can really become uh, a reflection of your life. But the flexibility does not only stop here. The cladding system that, uh, that holds the frame is also removable, and you can add it whenever you want. So now imagine, uh, it's a summer evening, and you, you want some free space in your house, suddenly you can have a courtyard inside your house, have a tea there, and just chill uh, in summer. With this modular system, we are trying to break the current unsustainable system, be it the materials or and social sustainability. With this, we are giving the power to the people to change their spaces and therefore change their lives. Thank you.